Hey, this is Scott Wellington. Um, I appreciate everybody watching. It's not very big, but I appreciate it. I'm not a, trying to say anything like it should be big or should be huge, but I appreciate everybody who sent me messages and who supports me and anyone who watches because I really didn't think anybody would. So that's, I'm very grateful for that. Um, Especially right now, there's in... There's a lot of fear and a lot of panic, and I talk about it every week. I'm kind of a broken record about it. Um, but my talk today is about being positive. I'm looking at my notes. Um, you know, I, I watched a, a thing today, a video today, and this lady was talking, and she said, um, think back to who inspired you. Were they negative or angry or yelling at you? Or were they loving and positive and quiet with you? And uh, I thought back in my life to people that have really, really influenced me for the positive. And uh, yeah, they weren't yelling at me. I've been yelled at. I've been, uh, you know, beaten and all that stuff. Not beaten, but you get what I'm saying. And, uh, you know, be just be positive. So my recommendation, because that affected me so deeply, my recommendation to people is to try to adopt a positive attitude. You negative is going to happen. It happens to everybody. It happens in every life. But you can choose. You always get to choose. You always have the power. You don't get to choose. You don't have any power over what happens to you. But you get to choose how you react. And uh, you can choose positivity over negative negativity. You can see negative things happen and they can happen to you. Uh, because they will and uh, you know you just admit to yourself that negative things are happening and you don't have to be defined by negativity you always have the choice you have the power of choice uh, you get to choose every second of every day and you get to choose to be optimistic or positive even when negative stuff happens um like I said, negative happens to everyone. But you always have the choice. You don't always get to choose what happens to you. Uh, trust me, I know that. Um, you know, living where I live and being where I've been and being what I've been through. I didn't choose any of that, but that, apparently life had other plans. Um, so I could choose to be negative or I can choose to be positive. That's really all I can control. I can't decide what happens to me. Life kind of does that. I can decide which way I want to go and maybe I'll get there and maybe I won't. But I can always, always control how I feel. Um, I can see the negative things that have happened. I can see the negativity in my life. Um, and I can see it and still choose to be positive um, and and choose a positive outcome even though negative things have happened even though negative things come into my life like they do everybody they come into everybody's life I was once told by a person named Jack Canfield that uh, events plus response equals outcome so the short version of that is E plus R equals O. And that's kind of true. The more years that I've lived through, the more I see that it's it's true. You can't choose the events. You can't really, you choose your response and that those added together, that equals the outcome. So you can choose to be negative. You can choose to be beaten down. You can choose to lay down and not fight back or you can choose to be positive and you can like I said positivity seems to be quiet because if you look back in the history of yourselves like I've looked back um yeah the times that I've been actually motivated by people it's not because they've been yelling at me and angry and full of fear it's actually been them being positive that's uh it's a pretty powerful thought. So 
I'm going to wrap it up today, and I just wanted to make a quick video today, and I appreciate everybody. Have a good day.